Warning, this video is not meant for advanced Talia players. Uh, I mean, just watch it if you feel like you need some help regarding your wall and you want to improve or you are simply a beginner. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and here is a tutorial on how to use your wall using the practice tool. Now, if you want to practice yourself, just add some uh, dummies and uh, use your ult so you can separate them in ways that benefit your team and usually throw yourself on the side of your team with your champion not what I mean like if your team is here just you know because that's what we want so let's move on and let's see two paths for yanking botman one of them would be just walking around here actually check if there's a vision ward because most of the time, the enemy mid laner with vision were there, there, or there, or their support will just ward here. And um, but my feet are on solid if he if he words the enemy mid laner, I mean words here, you just walk on this way. And um, if you words here, then you'll have to take a longer path or just walk over the wall and just go bot if they don't back off. Now, the their bot lane will ward usually here. And might some of them might work here now if you know they didn't work here you can just simply come on this point or this point and just cut them off and uh, yeah this is a bad example wait no I don't like it usually I go much more I go this this way so I'm not in the tower range and even if I jump in that I'm not in the tower range and uh, I can cut off them and usually when I come I just exhaust not that oh shit I used it. okay no, without that usually GLP exhaust W and one more thing I want to talk about let me just how do I move clear target the miss shift and let me just, okay I actually I'll just spawn the enemy the miss because whatever why is not spawning ah I need vision okay spawn I need to be okay now clear all. I want to do miss one here and one here. Nice. Now we don't have vision, but we know they're there. One thing I always suggest people to do is when they ult, like they go in, okay. Now, if you cut their team and they want to flash, like here, wait with your W because if you exhaust in GLP, they will have. A natural reason to flash like okay let me just show you if the wall is like this they will have a natural reason reason to flash now being GLP and exhausted you can simply use your W to predict it and this will make you look like better most of the time but this is the risky way if they are still slowed and uh, GLP you can simply use your W when they where they flash but if uh, they don't, they are not slowed, I rarely I risk it and just task. just try to burn their flesh and come again later if it's needed. Now, that's a first path to gank, this point and this point. But usually, as I said, this point is worth it. So, you're going to want to come from this side. And you're going to walk around here where the vision, their world, their possible world here stops. And you're just going to rush it and... Uh, Simply go in the bush and you know they see you, but they don't have time. And of course, of course, one of the most important things when you gank, when you are actually at this point, just do this thing, do this on my waiting. Usually your team does not know or does not see you, especially in lower elos. Now, in master it's quite obvious they see because map awareness is better, but try to uh, ping, any ping works. And also, most of the times you have to think if their jungler is in the bush, like here or here or here, using the the plant. That's the word. So, if you do gank, either be sure you have your exhaust so you can kill a target quick and hit your combo because if you miss it, well, it's going it's going to be a problem. Or do a gank when their HP is lower than your team and you have natural advantage by going bot. Also, every time you come in this point or this point, always and always notice if their Ahri, their, their mid laner I mean, 
I don't know why I thought especially about Akri. Always see if she follows, because usually when she's at this point farming and you're around here, most of the good players will naturally tend to follow you like this. So if they do, either word and try to poke them, try to make them back off and see if they go back to lane, or just rush it, because using the wall you naturally have time. But then it causes a problem if you rush bot fast and she comes around here. Yes, you will. You will get further. You get, will get faster than the other. But you, you will come. You will notice a problem. She comes, and maybe their jungler also comes, and you will face a, three, a potentially four versus three. So either get a kill quick and then run, or just back off. If you notice, they come just back off. Don't grid out. That's the main problem of the most Elia main. They grid off, and that was my problem too. Also, you can use this practice tool to practice your Ws and. It's quite amazing to have this resource. Now, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. The second thing I want to talk about is the mid lane. Uh, it's the mid lane. Uh, mid game, I mean. Mid game plays where you can wall the enemy team and separate them. That's just in a second. Let me cut it. Now, a second part I want to show you, and I will use this zone because uh, I have uh, minions. Now, uh, think that there are no towers because usually in the mid game or late game there are simply no towers and honestly most of the fights happen either on mid lane either on baron or dragon rarely in the jungle just when people get caught or near towers that's the only spots so I'm just going to assume there's a random mid fight you get this most of the time like especially in lower elos people fight on the mid lane now I'm going to make four dummies like this I don't want to get in the tower ah let me clear it I'm just, uh, I'm just going to word here, actually, uh, I'm going to put a word here and pretend this is the battlefield, okay? Now, spawn enemy do me. I want one here, one here. Usually they will have five people, but we have only four dummies, I don't know why. Let's see? And uh, this is somehow the main setup. For most of the fights, if you have, if they have a tank and an off tank, this would be the logical setup. Like three people behind or two, because support ADC mid or support if it's tanky will stay somewhere in between. But usually this might be a logical setup, and your team will be somewhere around here with the same logical setup. Now, your target, especially in this case, will be. To do something like this to separate to you you have to go somewhere far somewhere where it's especially not worth it because well you don't know that but I I'd recommend sweeper for this thing now I've seen literally not Talia mains do this but it would be a fine strategy to use a sweeper in the way you go now there are four people here and you walk around this path and go somewhere per, uh, perpendicular if that's the word that's the word, I don't know if English, that's... Anyway, you have to form a 90 degree angle with them. See? This forms a 90 degree angle and will usually separate their team from their... Usually separate the team, that, that's what I meant. Uh, I mean the tanks from the carries. And uh, when you do this and you ride your wall, you have to be careful because you'd want to be with your team now most of the times so either sometimes i fucked up and simply jumped on the other side like this and this is a bad idea especially if they are not low and if you face two or three members of the enemy team even if you have your spells you can't really do much except suicide also these minions are retarded so when you wall you try to find a good way to separate their team that will put you in a good position compared to their team. So that's why most of the fights I either go compared to this. Oh, let me clear again. Okay, and I want. Something like this and my team is around here. You want to be in a 90 degree angle most of the times. Because it's better to ult like this. Of course, your wall will be much more longer at that point. Because... Think about it, if you come in this point and ult, 
you might just get one person and you can kill him but if he has any escapes he will be gone and your team fight is kind of over or you will simply fight a normal front line but you'd rather prefer to catch two people because when you catch two people there's a lower chance they will flash flash out and they will usually fight and this actually helps you now do not catch in your team the overfed malphite because that will be a problem but if it's a tank that might die easier or an off tank or an assassin or a bruiser then that works especially if you catch them right now this is the case the normal case the normal mid lane fight but sometimes their adc or mid lane or support position themselves badly and you will simply have him off guard and catch him like that now most of the times i rather dodge these fights and uh, simply go for a jungle catch or a jungle objective i mean uh, Baron or Dragon, that's not a Dragon, that's just an objective. And these usually separate. Now, most of the times this works better than the fight, than the actual mid fight that most of the people like to do. So, yeah, that, that's it for now. And if I come with another tips, I will just uh, make a video and post it. If you want something, any request, I am more than happy to oblige. But it might take some time. Why is this level 7 tree and fire? Ah, won't even ask. So that's about it for now, thanks for watching and I really hope these little tips are useful, this, these are basic tips, so if most of you knew, knew that already and yeah. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video, goodbye guys.